Angelo here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I wanted to make this video for you guys on how you can find products that are selling on Macari. Now, spoiler alert, you literally just got to go to the selling section. It's going to tell you everything, right? But first things first, this account right here is at $10,924.45. I know it's been a while since I gave you guys an update on that account. I actually haven't sold on there probably since the last time I made a video, so it probably hasn't grown that much or whatnot. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update on that here. I actually about to get some products that's going up on this account here. So that number should be going up uh, at least a couple thousand dollars in the next two weeks or so here because we don't got a lot of products coming in. But yeah, guys, you can have accounts that looks just like this, you know, literally within the next month and a half, two months, maybe even a month. It could be like two or three weeks, depending on how much capital you have right now. Like it really isn't hard at all. And right now is the perfect time to get into e-commerce. Right now is the perfect time to just start selling stuff online in general because everybody's buying stuff from home. You know, they're scared to go out because of the virus and all of that stuff. So you got people literally paying markups left and right. You know, computers are selling like crazy right now because everybody's working from home and, you know, iPads and like just everybody's just paying money left and right and you know people are getting um there's supposed to be another stimulus check or some i don't even know like i just hear people talking about they at least they're supposed to be or there's talks of one or whatever but if there is talks of one a guy again guys you gotta get in this right away because when it comes to those stimulus checks you know people go and just burn that shit up like when the last one came out well like not what probably like two months ago all the TVs were gone. All the gaming systems were gone. Everything was gone. People weren't paying their rent. People still aren't paying their rent. Like, telling you guys, right now, perfect time to get inside, you know, e-commerce in general. Just It's just easy money to be made right now. But, yeah. Now, first thing, I should say this. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. But, no, I am not going to say what I was selling on that account right there or any other other accounts that I have. If you guys want to know what I'm selling, where I'm selling that, you know, how I get my products to hold nine yards, go pick up the course over on boxmoney.net. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Also, make sure you have multiple accounts because when you sell something to people, you want it to be in a theme, right? Like you can have your personal account. Let's say you're a reseller, right? You go to Goodwill and you just have your personal account or you just have one account that you just throw random stuff on all the time. You'll get that fan base of people looking for you know, that just random stuff. Oh, I wonder what Buddy got today, right? Just that type of random stuff that you just put up there. It's no theme, no, just literally your theme is just, I guess it would just be just nonsense. You're just throwing up stuff left and right. It could be clothes today. It could be phones tomorrow. It could be toilet paper tomorrow. It could be, you know, pine saw and cleaning products the next day. Like it's just, there is no consistency, right? So what you want to do is have some accounts that are like niche based though. So let's say you only sell Xbox ones or video games on one. You wanna have that consistent on just that account. You wanna have everything going to that account, right? Because again, once you make a sale, that person is gonna start following you. And once they start following you, they see like, okay, this person sells games, you know, I'm gonna pick up another game from them, or they might got another game system or something like that. If you're start if you start posting a bunch of stuff that's not in the niche that they followed you for, they're gonna unfollow you. So you want to keep getting repeat customers and stuff like that. So again, I recommend having one account where you're just going to put up whatever, right? You don't really care about followers and then you want to have some niche based accounts or whatever. But yeah, that's just my opinion on it. So all you got to do is just go to the see what selling section. Like that's why, I mean, you really, that's it. That's really all you need to do is just go over here and see what's selling. Like that's it. And once you come over here and you see what's selling, then all you got to do from there is just go and find those products. You can go buy them in lots. You can go buy them in auctions. You can go buy them like from wholesalers, vendors, whatever. Like it doesn't matter where you get the products from. All you need to do is go get them. Now you know what's selling. And once you know what's selling, it's not too hard to go and find it. Even if you just do it on a small scale, let's say you just go to offer up, you go to the Facebook groups and you just find, um, these products and then you just turn around and resell them from there like that's that's it guys you don't have to focus on you know getting a vendor or wholesaling or getting your license to do all that stuff right out the gate you can just turn around you can just go to offer offer up buy stuff there literally turn around and resell it it's just that simple like it's not that difficult guys 
All right, so we see we got some Pokemon cards here. We got an iPad. We got an um, an Apple Watch. We got um, another iPhone here. We got some of those little collectible pop thingies. We got a Nintendo DS here. I actually just um, bid on a lot of those as well. You know, trying to get. Um, I think there's like five of them, and right now it's like at 50 bucks and they come with the chargers and everything so if we can get that that's going to be really nice I'm basically paying like what's that like five bucks per unit and then i got a shit ton of ds games put that in the bundle boom sell that all day long for a quick easy 75 bucks just just right out the gate over and over and over you know and then we just do it again like i, said, I got so many damn ds games from all those lots i were buying um before or whatnot but yeah, you guys just see, just come over here and look. This is literally it. It's not that difficult. Like you just come over here and see what is selling, and then anything that you see over here, you run over to you know offer up, or you run to eBay, or you go to your vendor or your wholesaler or whoever you know or wherever you get your products from, and you just come and sell it over here. And vice versa, you can do this over on Amazon. You can do it over on offer up. You can do it wherever. Just see what's selling. Then see if you can get those products and then sell it. Like a lot of people want to make stuff extremely complicated for no reason. Like we see we got a nice little um, big ticket item right here for a thousand dollars. So we see this is selling. We saw this sold for one thousand dollars. 512 gigabyte. So we just know, are right, we gonna look out for for that right there? All right now, also we gotta keep in mind the fees. So fees right out the gate would be a hundred. And then, um, so basically, let's just say, let's say like 800, probably like 800, let's say 890 90 bucks or whatever is what we're going to walk away from with this. So our goal would be to, let's say, get the iPhone Pro Max for like 600 bucks. And I might sound like, oh, there's no way you can do that. Blah, blah. You really can. You just got to look out for the deals. Like a lot of people go and look on offer up one time. Like, oh, there's nothing there. Well, it's not going to be there most likely the first time you go look. This is something you constantly keep checking on. Like you go throughout the day, you know, you set up. There are apps that literally will give you notifications as soon as something is posted in the price range that you want, you know, the exact product or whatever. So then as soon as it, you know, um, it gets um, uploaded or listed or whatever boom you get a notification right away you can go purchase it then they would send it out or you go pick it up then you would sell it it's just that simple guys it's not that hard you know you can also whenever you're in walmart or whatever i mean i'm not telling you to do it <laughs> but there are those uh, rip off phone machines there or whatever and you know people be over there you know about to sell their iphone pro max they might literally get like 200 and something dollars for that phone for the latest iPhone, that machine is giving out like two to three hundred bucks. You just run over there and be like, hey man, um, not again, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying, you know, you just whisper in their ear, go outside in the parking lot, you know, do a little transaction <laughs> and call it a day. Then you come over here, boom, easy six hundred dollars in profit. I'm telling you, you can do this all day long. All right, and then again, we just come back over here and we just look. This is it. Like a lot of people make this part like really complicated and it's really not we just coming over here and looking right we see that uh super mario sunshine game is sell sold for 65 bucks we'll be on the lookout for gamecube games now right the iphone that iphone rose let me see if it's uh might be broken or icloud locked oh yep see it's broken now so we see it's broken right now a random person on the street they might just think that this is completely useless try to get rid of her five or ten bucks you know that you can make a quick little 40 bucks in profit off of that now i'm saying like i mean cause i would have i had no idea that that phone would have sold for that like in that condition for 45 dollars i wouldn't know wouldn't have known that but now you do so now you're on the lookout for that too so this is just building up all the products that you're looking for and it just again tells you what they're selling for like i actually just sold some of these the other day that i got from the goodwill and i thought they were fake and everything that's why i held them for so, so for so long but i took them to um the little shoe stores in my area and i took them to three of them they said yeah they're they're legit so I'll just say no more <laughs> sold them and uh that was it i sold mine for 120 you know a few people told me i could have got more for them, but i'm not i'm not a sneaker person like in the slightest like i saw them selling for on here brand new for 200 and 
what was it? It seemed like $220 or something like that for the shoes. So I just assumed that, you know, 120 U's would be a good price to go. But yeah, that shit, they, they legit sold in like two minutes. I legit could have got a higher price. But it's fine, though. I'm not really worried about it. And yeah, you guys see with the stuff that's selling here. So some po oh, Pokemon games. If you go to your local pawn shops, they might have um, Nintendo, um, the Game Boy games, anything Pokemon. They normally sell them for like five bucks. Those are easy flips all day, 20 plus, you know, and profit all day long. Depending, depending on which one you get, it can be worth like quite a bit of money. PS3 console right here. You can pick those up for like 20 bucks. Let's see. We got some Nike shoes here. I really should get into selling Nike shoes. Now we got some Trump stuff here. Oh, they probably took it down. Oh, look at that. We got an old school laptop right here that sold for 75 bucks. Go pick that up. You know, you can get those, again, dirt cheap for like 20, 30 bucks. And you just want stuff that's going to sell fast. At least that's my approach to it. Like, I want stuff that's just going to sell today. Like, I don't want to have to sit on it for the next six months or whatever. I just want stuff that's going to sell, you know. The Game Boy Advance. All right, and then you guys get the point here, though. But literally, all you would do is just go to the what's selling section, and then you just scroll down, and you're just gonna be start. You're just gonna start building your your knowledge base. You know, like so you see, we got Apple Watches here, so we know if we're over on Offer Up, if we're on the Facebook Marketplace, you know, or wherever we're looking at, and we see an iPhone, an Apple um, Watch or whatnot for let's say like thirty bucks, we know that's an easy probably twenty bucks in profit just right there that's gonna sell the same day, right? So, boom, we're just gonna just again, get this stuff out. Now you can sell it for higher than that. I'm just going off prices that you know for a fact that it's gonna sell right away. Like a few minutes, you put it up, it's gone, right? Or a day or so. But yeah, it looks like that um, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, um, around there, damaged phones that you can probably get for like 10, 15 bucks or selling for like 40, 50 bucks all day long. Yep, and this is plus shipping. All right, so yeah, it looks like 40 to 50 bucks in profit for just straight up broken phones. But yeah, you guys see the whole process here. You can just come here and just look like I know I keep saying the same thing over and over because a lot of people ask me the same thing over and over and over. And I keep saying like, this is not difficult in the slightest guys like you see what's selling here you know what's selling like Macari is literally telling you everything that everyone is selling and all you have to do is scroll down and see if you can find it right like that's it like you see the ps4 sold for 175 can i get it for 100 you see this coat right here sold for 75 can i find it at the goodwill for 10 Right? You see these shoes are selling sold for 50 bucks. Can I go and check the clearance section and see if they're there for for 25? Like that's it, guys. It's not that difficult. You see what's selling, you see what it's sold for, and then you can look it up, you know, and see how often it sells on the platform. And then you would just go from there. It's not it's not hard. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. You got to put you got any comments, put them in the comment section down below.